Well, having kind of a slow start to the morning, um, but I still go to water, I guess, just like last week. Ooh, this is a Monstera. It might actually push out a leaf. I'm excited. This is, um, I think it's the, um, one that starts down here, the split leaf one. Um... These guys still haven't completely died, which is good. I really don't think it was bugs, but <laughs> if it was bugs, they should all be dead because I wiped that poison all over their leaves. Um, I haven't watered yet this week. I got to water that zucchini over there. Yesterday it snowed outside. It didn't really stick because it was 34 degrees out. Um, it was really weird weather. Even the power company sent out messages along lines of, hey, we're watching this thing. Just in case the power goes out, we have extra crews on standby. So, um, I got all my dishes and laundry done. <laughs> Just in case the power was going to go out for the sake of my water, because I'm on a well, right? And then also the machines. Um, what's new? It's... Early January, so nothing to do with the garden outside, which is good. I still need to follow up in my emails, or uh, I don't think I got any voice messages, so maybe just follow up in my emails to make sure that I didn't get any messages from that um, property rights lawyer about the the last few feet behind my fence there, um, so that I can dig through it to put the sewer connection up. I think there's like a plastic bag or something that blew into my yard right there. Gotta go pick that up. I haven't been out in the backyard in a while, which is fantastic, because I get a break from the garden. I like the garden, but getting a break is nice too. Um, I guess things are still wet out there from the rain. I can, I can tell because of the color of that landing there. It's a lighter gray when it's not wet. It's about 34 degrees out now, too. It's been 34 for like 24 hours, if not more now. I think it was supposed to be barely a degree or two above freezing for like two days. So, and I think we get, I think we get more of that kind of mixed snowy sort of slush coming out of the sky thing next weekend on Saturday, too. Um, maybe I should turn it so this part gets some more light. Oh, is it growing in? It is growing in. Okay. Um, what else? What else? I poured a little bit of leftover. Ooh, this one got mushed. I poured a little bit of leftover coffee into the, um, True's Maddie and Sis mixes that look bad. You know what? I'm just going to leave that. If that's how it grew in, that's always how it's going to look. Uh... I wonder if I wiped poison on this too. I think I did. And by poison, I mean that um, systemic insecticide. I wrapped this, um, as of last week, like I said, I wrapped this Monstera dubia around this plant over here. Maybe it's a bad decision, right? Because it turns into a huge beefy plant that has leaves like the size of me. Um, I gotta water these guys. I have that nice cute little mushroom sprouting in here again. Let me just water this guy while I'm here before I forget. I should pick that and cook something out of it already. There we go. Now it's got water again. I'm glad it only sets one at a time. At first I thought, oh man, I was hoping for more at a time so I could make that uh, relish, but this is fine too. I gotta pick the gemme again. Actually on my list of things to do is to mix up another pot so I can pick more gemme and mix it up. Because last week, like I said, I would, in fact I did. Let me show you, I repotted those um, bromeliads, the brachinias. So there's the, the hectioides and there's the reducta because I put it in a bigger pot. Now it's taller than the light, but I don't want to raise the light, so that's that. Now it's just kind of resting against the light. So if it grows any taller, then it's going to start scorching itself more, but for the time being, I guess that's okay. So I traded spots with that nep right there. 
trying to think what else maybe it's gonna be a short one again this this guy this uh passiflora i guess i watered a little bit too hard because its saucer was almost spilling over onto the floor last week so i'm not watering it this week because it definitely has enough water the early part of this vine looks kind of gross but then later on it kind of looks green and better so i'll leave it hmm what else what else that might be it everything's looking okay-ish this is maybe starting to grow a little bit better. Maybe it just didn't like being in the direct sunshine. <clears throat> Rob Cantley eye still hasn't bloomed. Yeah, I can't, can't think of anything else. Yeah, the Sabuinensis by Trues Natiensis looks as bad as uh, the, the Izumi eye by Trues Natiensis did for a while with kind of dried out leaves. I mean, I did, I did wipe poison on these spots here. I think they're dead. But I did put poison on it all, just to super extra make sure it's dead. So, hopefully it sprouts back. We'll see. It seems to be a gorgeous, huge plant, but oh well. Hmm. Sometimes you lose plants. Or maybe for a while I thought that this was the Izumad by Trismatiensis, but it's actually the, um, what you call it, this plant over here. Kajiana Viking. And seed pot isn't ready quite yet still. So the the big Jemmy tray, the one over there that I started up a couple weeks ago, and then the next one that I'm gonna make um is gonna get these seeds on it. But maybe I'll add them to the next NASC auction. This ought to be a lot of seeds, so oh I should check to see how um if I've gotten pod elongation. So um if you haven't pollinated them before, see how this tip one is really, really short? one all the way up here so it didn't elongate so I don't think it um it took the pollen and it is not going to ripen so any of the ones that stay kind of short like that one there um I don't think they actually contain any seeds and the pollination didn't take but when they do elongate the really long ones then that usually has the seeds that are ripe on the inside so let's see if these have elongated themselves I don't think they have maybe it'll push out another uh flower set there uh, but those are kind of short, so maybe that pulchrid pollen didn't take, but I did harvest some and put it in the fridge, so if I do get healthy, happy-looking flower pods, man, this looks terrible. It's actually black. It's not against the light black. It's actually black. Man, I'm terrible at growing plants. <laughs> um, so... If I do get some more flowers, then I'll try to pollinate again with Pulchra, and maybe I'll get uh, Spatulata by Hamada by Pulchra, which ought to be an interesting cross. Okay. Maybe that's it for the week. I'll continue thinking about why my plants look terrible when there aren't any visible signs of bugs. kind of has rumpling, like I've had spider mite, I don't think I have spider mites, I don't know what's going on, I don't see anything wipe off on my fingers, yep. well, that's that, <laughs> either they grow or they don't, right, so this is the base of the plant, it has a couple basils popping up. Okay, hey, uh, that's it for the week. I will see y'all next week.